This next tactic is called the, the double check and it involves, it combines the idea of a discovered attack and that discovered attack will be a check um, as another piece is, a, is also checking the king. So to find these tactics, that's the main idea, right? So you can find them in your own games. You look, again, they're just based on the building blocks of, of checks and captures and uh, lower rated pieces attacking higher rated pieces, etc. As I have been repeating many, many times. Okay, so we look here, it's White's turn to move and, and also X-rays. Yeah, that's a key theme to, to tactics. Um, you see that the, an X-ray is a piece that's attacking everything along its file or, or diagonal and uh, whether it's blocked or defended. So uh, you see that the rook is actually X-raying the king here. Yeah. Okay, so there are a few pieces that need to be moved um, to get at it, but it can happen. And then also you look at sacrifices. So we see that what, what can be, you know, how can we check the king? So we see that the queen can actually check the king here. It's defended, of course, by the by the bishop, um, and the bishop could capture the queen. Uh, the king couldn't capture it because the knight is actually defending that square. So that's part of the hint, that's part of the way of unraveling the possibilities here to um, expose this, this x-ray. So of course it requires calculation and that's something you'll get better at as you play more and more games. But this is what you're calculating. You're calculating the checks, uh, and the uh, attacks here. So how many how many moves do we actually have to 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 see this? So you see this check. So you have to do that in your head. Okay, let's try it in our head first. So we see this check, and we know the bishop has to take it. So it's a forced move. It's a very forcing move because the king can't run here either because the knight's guarding that square. And, and uh, okay, so the the bishop would have to take the the queen, and and now. We see, do we have a double check? And we see that the knight, the knight could swing here and check the king. Actually, this is something we should look at, uh, should have looked at earlier. You look at all the possible checks, right? We see the queen check and the knight check uh, on the king, and that's how we can find this. And so when the king, when the knight checks the king here, uh, because it's a double check, because the rook would also be checking it, the king, again, the bishop will be here. The king can't run, so the king could only run to, let's see if I can do this in my head, um, to this square, and, aha, uh -huh, because the knight is here, of course I have, I do have experience, I can't expect any of you to fall, to really figure this out if you're a beginner, but you may, because you know, you can just break this down, and so let's just do this, and actually, well, it falls back to the, um, what you learned in the very early be uh, 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 beginner videos on, um, checkmates, yeah. So that's you're always reducing down to these elements. That's why those beginner videos are just as critical as any other other thing you learn because you're going to continue to use those ideas even as a grandmaster. So uh, we have this check. The bishop captures, and now we throw the double check in. Can't capture the knight because there's a check here. The king runs, and now we have the knight rook checkmate. You see, and the king can't capture the the rook because the knight is guarding it. This is just beautiful. Now proceed to tactic number eight called attraction.